Hello, and I've just noticed something very curious about YouTube, is that you've got to give it around about 10 seconds before you say anything. There's the email klaxon. So this is from Bath Ales, never had this before. It's Dark Side Stout. Um, yeah, new to me, 4%, so we're talking very much... Um, the mainstream rather than you know the i end i got this from asda in south ampton uh, i had to pay two pound fifty for parking as well absolute robbing people uh, for want of a better word good evening and welcome back so this is deliciously dark and complex with a roasted malt flavors outrageously smooth with lots of brown toast brown toast eh not white toast it is, it, it is a hot day for a stout, and it just has been warm. Fair play. Uh, Outrageously smooth with lots of brown toast, coffee, and alluring smoky notes, as well as a rich chocolate, thanks to cacao nibs. 4%, though, so shouldn't be overly taxing. And welcome back. So, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, the nerves, the nerves. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Let's be fair. Oh, nice German beer. Fair play. I've got some cracking German stuff to drink over the next few weeks. Good times for the channel, really. Let's hope it's definitely coming home. And it's weird that the English flag shows up black on live on lives. It's been beautiful here in Nottingham. It has. So, yeah, lovely black paw. Ears been lowered, yeah. <laughs> no, I had my hair cut. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious to the fact, one, it was out looking, looking a bit rough anyway. You know, we've all, as you get older, you can't get away with it. Unless you want to look like some Muppet. And I don't want to look like a Muppet. And uh, good evening, Craig, again. And I'm conscious to the fact that that beer with my name on it, it comes out. Monday or Tuesday and uh, I'm so conscious no I haven't no <laughs> calling jug bless you so if I go to the if I go to the pub to have a drink of it get invited along that I don't look quite as old as I do on the bloody um the the uh, bar thing clip yeah yeah, it's, it's just it's a strategic haircut. What we'll do to celebrate it? Oh, dear. I'm at work on the next day. I mean... Well, I'm not sure if it's going to bottles. I, personally, I really, really hope it does. And if it's successful, being as it's a 3.8% beer... That could be a core range beer, you know, for pubs. We're talking, have a good day at work or good evening at work. Sorry about that. Yeah. As a 3.8 percenter is, it's, it's an intriguing one. Driving naked to work. Oh, dear. So, yeah, I got two from Audi, Bira Mapelli and... Uh, Rossini, you know, the, the clones. I got a Manibria from Morrison's. I think it's just going into cask. But he did say he was going to try and bottle some. Pray, pray that he does. Uh, the people at Lincoln Green are on about doing, getting their own bottle, pro, bottling line, which I think will be amazing. Because then they can bottle whenever they want to bottle. Say if it's something seasonal. They can chuck it into bottle, hit both markets. In times of COVID, you've got you've got to be realizing that it in both areas is critical. Anyway, <sighs> subtle nose on this roasty toasty. It does say, like it says, it's docks, deliciously dark and complex, roasted malt flavors, outrageously smooth, lots of brown toast, coffee, and smoky notes. We'll see how it goes. I do get the roastiness on the nose. I'm not getting anything else, though, to be fair.
quite quite bitey on the on the tongue. So that kind of uh, the arranged outrageously smooth. It kind of uh, contradicts that outrageously smooth bit because it is quite bitey for me. So it's kind of strange. Um, I only found out yesterday that two people who are friends of the family that are not really beer drinkers or not really old enough, both watching all my beer reviews, and it's like, whoa, that's different. Good evening. And night's 8.4%. Don kebabs and chips, oh, bless you. Bottling pills in the through wax of mail. Well, that's good. That is good. Yeah, calling. Yeah, yeah. I think it's still. I think it's really still classed as calling black label. Really. Yeah, they kind of dropped the name a little bit, aren't they? But it's the same beer, uh, lager, rather. Yeah, there's no difference. It's just. It's just a brand, a slight brand drop. They do it at times, don't they? It's, it always makes you. It always makes you chuckle when they when they call something like uh, like a Guinness something, and you think, no, it's not the same bloody stuff. No, don't. No, I did that last week and paid the price. Yes. Good evening. Enjoyed your two beer reviews, and uh, and thank you. Looking sharp. Good haircut. Needed it. Yeah. Text about text about ten years off. I only look fucking 55 now instead of 50. Yeah. Grey hair for you. Don't get fucking grey. It's crap. If I put that there, well, that's good, isn't it? So I'm on my rattan seating in the garden. Tell me what, rattan is decent. Uh, although, be careful of the ones that's really thin because it breaks as easy as hell. It's nice to have an air cut into it. Well, I've already had dinner. I had a, I cooked the wife because it's it's our wedding anniversary tomorrow. So I've cooked the wife. We had a gammon steak each. I did garlic mushrooms. Mushrooms cooked in garlic butter. Divine. Uh, then we had a garlic mushroom uh, white wine sauce with French fries. So it's um, and that's just before I come out here to, to do a free beer reviews. I've actually got a Baffles gem in the shed. Yeah, I used to love it as well. It's interesting to see how, how it, um, yeah, what's with the, what's with the blonde woman on, on the uh, chat, chatting? Hey, is she your mate? I noticed that straight away. Um, oh, I can't, can't say any more for, for, for reasons, but uh, yeah, I, I did notice the comment. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's funny how you notice things. Oh, she's a bot. Right, yeah. yeah, I did think that to be fair, but it did make me chuckle of all the people to do it to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you do get them. I get them a lot on Facebook. All of a sudden, I get someone saying hi, and you're like, huh? Oh, sent you a friend request. You want to reply and string them along a bit. It's all right until they start posting your personal details on the internet. So, roasty toasty this. Very much a basic stout. Um, be good Be good putting this against the Guinness. It's easy drinking. It's certainly traditional stout rather. Yeah, certainly more traditional rather than, um, <laughs> yeah, making me laugh. More traditional rather than a full-on um, craft. But you expect that from Baffles, you know. Um, chocolatey, smooth chocolate. The North Brewing was really, really chocolatey. This is more subtle. And you do find that with the... Um, the, the traditional beers that they they generally are they do what they say on the tin or on the bottle but they generally are more subtle 
there's not many that aren't the old-fashioned craft uh, traditional rather rather than some of the new stuff that's coming in in my opinion anyway for what that my opinion is obviously so lots of brown toast there is a toastiness to it i'm not sure if it's brown toast could be fucking white toast for all i know um coffee let's try and get coffee again maybe i shouldn't have drank this after drinking the north because the north being a craft porter delivered substantially well this being more traditional based um is really it's really hard when when you're um when you've just drank something that was a bit more superlative um nice enough that it is though definitely something that if you like guinness this sort of beer would be very very interesting to try so you know every beer has got its place and sometimes drinking a beer after you've drank something that's amazing and then you drink something that's it might be good in its own way but um no the hot tub's coming tuesday tuesday or wednesday the hot tub's coming yeah so we're using the old pump on the new hot tub so it's worked out a hell of a lot cheaper than the liner for my hot tub is 329 quid and out of stock so to get a new hot tub albeit smaller use my pump on there and my filter for the inside it's costing us 190 quid so much better and it's only a two to four person one the one before was three to five and you've got to be honest you know the cost of the water and, and heating that water was quite immense. And uh, we can finally get some usage. <laughs> Who's off cut? <laughs> yeah. You can finally get some, uh, we can finally get some usage out of the hot tub room. It's like you build a hot tub room and then the hot tub dies. It's like, you know, all that, all that effort. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's a bargain, but... Uh, it was cheaper than the equivalent, yeah. And you know, if you look on the internet for hot tubs now, they are ridiculously expensive. The easiest way to do it is exactly what I'm doing. And the best the best way to do it is actually to go and buy yourself an, a pump that's working and then buy the setup without a pump. Put them together, you've got the full setup, but it's about 200 quid cheaper. Work that one out. Why is that? Because the fleecing bastards are ripping the public off because they know we're still in COVID. So they know that they can charge what they like. Fuckers, aren't they? Hey. Good evening, you. How's your mate, Cuthbert? <laughs> Bless him. Hope they're going to feed him when, he's away, when you're away. Or are you taking him to Poland? Hey, bless his little cotton sockies. My dad used to bring... <laughs> My dad used to bring rabbit to him every week. And uh, not that you want to hear that, obviously, but... Smell of chicken. It's got like a funny smell of chicken when they boil it. <sighs> Plus, I could never do it to a little rabbit. Lovely little things. I do see rabbits at Callum when I'm there. So, oh, need to stay sober. It's not helping because these two have walloped me already. Bless him. is a good one. Could you imagine if we were like rabbits, eh? Rabbits eat their own droppings, eh? And get nourishment out of their own droppings. Could you imagine, eh? Tucking into a fucking... Tucking into them. Tuck, tuck, bleh, tucking into your turd from the night before. Slicing it up. Hey, a bit of celery. It does look like a Guinness. Yeah. 
Nottingham Ale Yeast and Lager. Ooh. Masson does play computer games. He does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's me. My hot tub, it's because of me with the, um, yeah, hot stuff. It would be cheaper than food, definitely. If there's one thing I've seen in the new job I'm in, I've seen rabbits, pheasants, um, fucking hares. Hares, big. They can really bound along that. They can reindeer. Um, it's been great, you know, lots and lots of different birds. Herons, massive fucking heron in the pond one day. I think he was having a bit of fish, you know, nice fish, fish breakfast. I walked along and it's like, I don't know who was more scared, me or the heron. As he's flying off, fucking escaping from me, I'm running, escaping from him. And uh, scared, scared the shit out of me at seven in the morning. <laughs> Hairs are massive. You fucking are. We've got quite a few rabbits at Callum. Yeah, don't never see any at Cockliffe. But at Callum and they're in Newark. Yeah. Do. I don't like rabbits too. Smells. Smells like chicken. So yeah. Very much traditional. If you like your Guinness, this could be an interesting interesting beer for you where it says outrageously smooth i don't think it is i think it's more bitey than that guinness is outrageously smooth this certainly isn't but hey we all have our own perceptions on what beers are and aren't dark complex it's definitely dark roasted malt flavors it's, it's definitely it's definitely roasted malt definitely and then it says here brown toast how the hell would you know um Smoky notes. I didn't get the smoky notes either. Rich chocolate. It's got chocolate, but I wouldn't say it was rich. And this is where um, more traditional breweries come up with their um, their what they call their beers. But then you then you do. I won't touch it again. I used to smell it in the kitchen being boiled. No, poor little rabbits. Poor little bugs. Bugs Bunny, hey. Okay. Um, out of five for me. It was okay. It was a nice um, have a fed. Yeah, because what they eat translates to what you eat. Same with cows, pigs, lamb. You know, yeah. And chickens. You don't want them feasting on some fucking dog shit, do you? Hey, they are tucking into a bit of rabbit, and who can taste his dog shit? Yeah, be a bit earthy, be a bit, a bit raw. No, not good. Anyway, um, Bath Ales. Yeah, definitely a more traditional beer. Yeah. Um, if you're a Guinness fan, this is definitely a step up from Guinness. Bit less mass produced, bit more interesting, bit more flavour, but it is not a craft beer. Which is for those who are big craft beer fans, you may be struggling. Um, out of five, a good four point oh out of five, and uh, and that's it for this beer review. Right, last beer review. Try and not no one to nitrate. No, just a, just a standard old fashioned beer, basically. Right, I've got something special on the last beer review. I've got. A beer that there only is only one of. There's only one of, because I snagged it from the brewery, and uh, I got this from Southampton, buddy. Yeah. State with into dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? But yeah, snagged that from Southampton, Asda in Southampton, Bath, Bath Ales, of all people. Right, gotta run. Cute. Can't be any later than eight o'clock. I'm trying to be good. And uh, right, 4.0 for the score. It was decent, but uh, nothing, I wouldn't say it was a box ticker. Back in two minutes. Cheers, all. Right, let's go into quick mode if I can.